Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB3029s. These are the Ray-Ban Outdoorsman 2, and we're gonna pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 62 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge, and the Ray-Ban Outdoorsman number two are basically the large size of the original Ray-Ban Outdoorsman. So we have the Outdoorsman number two on my face right now, and now let's go ahead and pop on the original Ray-Ban Outdoorsman sunglasses, and these sunglasses glasses have 58 millimeter lenses and the same 14 millimeter bridge. Personally, I think the smaller size looks better on my face shape than the large 62 millimeter lens size, but another difference between the Outdoorsman number one and the Outdoorsman number two is the fact that the original Outdoorsman number one have these cable temples, and unfortunately, you can't get the Outdoorsman number two with cable temples, so they come with these normal acetate temples, which are very comfortable and fit very well on the face, but I know there's definitely a lot of people who want to get the Outdoorsman Outdoorsman in the larger 62 millimeter size and also have those classic cable temples, but unfortunately Ray-Ban doesn't produce that pair of sunglasses. If we go ahead and take a closer look at these sunglasses, we can see a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens, and also there's going to be an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens for authentication purposes. Now also these sunglasses have some etched information here under the top bridge of the sunglasses. They say Ray-Ban and then they give their lens size and bridge width. And there's also some etch information here on the upper bridge of sunglasses. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and they've only been doing that since 2019. So if you have a pair that's older, it might not say that, but here on a new pair, it should definitely say Ray-Ban made in Italy on the top bridge of sunglasses. These sunglasses have very nice and premium all metal hinges. I feel very good when opening up and when closing them. And they also have this really cool sweat bar here at the top, which as you guys can see here is in this beautiful Havana acetate material, which looks really good and kind of makes sunglasses pop and gives them that classic outdoorsman style and look to them. These sunglasses also feature fully adjustable nose rests and actually we can see through the nose rests through this ivory material and we can see an etched RB logo on them for authentication purposes. These sunglasses are made in Italy and if we take a look at the inner right temple sunglasses we can see they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. Now if we take a look at the inner left temple sunglasses we can see they say RB3029 outdoorsman number two and then the lens size and bridge width. Now as far as lens quality goes these sunglasses feature Ray-Ban's G15 glass lenses so they offer 100 UVA and UVB protection and the quality through these is very good and very sharp. The lenses have a very nice anti-reflective material to them to block in light coming in and bouncing off the lens into your eye. And the overall clarity of these lenses is definitely very good and you guys are going to like these a lot. They're the classic uh, green gray lenses that look black when you wear them on face but they're actually a green gray style. Again, these sunglasses are classic to Ray-Ban sunglasses. They have a very neutral style to them and you definitely can't go wrong with the classic G15 lens. I really like how Ray-Ban matched the color of the earrest to the sweat bar. I think that really adds a cool look to the sunglasses and really kind of makes the sunglasses look very distinct and really cool. Overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses and it's going to be great for people with larger heads. As you guys can see, I have a medium sized head, so these are going to look a little bit too big on my particular face shape. Like I said, I think those 58 millimeter sunglasses look better. And then the other downside of the Outdoorsman number two is the fact that they don't come with an option for cable temples. They only come with the original classic skull temples. And then I guess you can actually say that is a downside of the original Ray-Ban Outdoorsman with the 58 millimeter lenses is again the fact that they only come with cable temples and you can't get these with the more comfortable skull ERS that the Outdoorsman number two have. So unfortunately with these sunglasses, depending on your face size, you're gonna be limited to what type of ERS you can get on these sunglasses. And personally, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that Ray-Ban does that. I really do like these cable temples because they fit on the face very good and they're not gonna fall off no matter what activity you're doing. So it's really nice to have that as an option, but I'd also like a really easy to wear pair to have these skull temples so I could pop on the original Outdoorsman on and off very easily and very quickly, but unfortunately we don't have that with this pair of sunglasses. Honestly, if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick the classic school temple because you can just pop these sunglasses on and pop them off super easy and super fast. But again, I know there's a lot of people who like those original cable temples. So I know that was a mouthful, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something from it. As far as pricing goes, the sunglasses run you around $154 directly from Ray-Ban's website. However, you can pick these sunglasses up on Amazon for around $130, maybe a 
little bit less on Amazon, so I'm going to leave a link description below for you guys to check out this exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon. But that's all I got guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.